my own. <laughs> this is uh, to get you boys all bloody excited. A few drills. So I toi. Good afternoon everyone, um, the usual format for our press comments will start with broadcast on the agency and we'll follow that with a, a separate written media briefing which will be embargoed. Uh, we're hoping to have two players with us today, I've not seen them yet, they're just coming off uh, out of training and out of recovery so we'll be aware that will be Hugh Jones and Fraser Brown. Um, my understanding would be that you'd probably all want to speak to Hugh Jones, if that's the case then we'll probably split the two players in the way that we have here. If that's not the case we can, just, we can chat about it after firm, uh, but without any further ado, Andrew Christian. Can you tell us why you think this is a team that might get the job done on Saturday? Ah, well, it's a team that uh, uh, had a bit of time together in the autumn. Uh, unfortunately, we're still without uh, WP Nell and Ali Dickinson. Uh, the midfield pairing is the uh, the pairing that um, I thought did pretty well for us then. Uh, the back three, uh, Stuart Hogg, uh, Sean Maitland and Tommy Seymour have have um, have been going and playing well. Uh, the two Grey brothers, uh, the loose forwards. It's a it's a mixture of trying to defend their lineouts, um, carry and dent them uh, when we've got the ball, and create problems uh, when they when they put a bit of speed into the game with uh, activity at ruck time. So Greg and Finn to run the run the show. They've spent a bit of time. So uh, we think there's a there's a bench that'll help us as well. Strauss comes in for, for Barclay, uh, Brown in for forward. How difficult were those two decisions in particular? Well, Fraser's been playing particularly well, um, and, and and we feel that uh, Forty will offer something with with John Barclay uh, on the bench. Tim Swinson's been playing well also, so those guys coming in. Um, Simon Bergen, if he comes on, gets his first cap. So having 40 next to him, I think, is going to be a 100-cap test cap player next year. I think will be a good thing to have. So it was just really mixing. Well, now we'll have to play with whole 23. and won't get through the game with 15. So it's just trying to mix and match the best best way possible. Is it Strauss's ball carrying and indeed Brown's ball carrying at the end of the edge because they, they are two significant carriers on the game? Yeah, Fraser's very, very good defensively and close around ruck time as well. So um, stopping, um, we know that Ireland go to one pass, two pass plays, uh, and uh, we need you know, need to be robust around that, um, around the ruck area. So we've got that. Fraser's a very good defender. Uh, he also carries, as you say, well. Josh will be able to carry. So uh, if we get our hands on the ball, we, we want them to go backwards. We want gain line. We want to be able to. Uh, you know, have, have an impression on their defence, so those players obviously help. Well, the thing is, he hasn't uh, hasn't played or trained with another team, so the combinations were exactly the same. He went straight back into where he where he left uh, in the autumn, so that I mean that was comforting. He didn't have to change or readjust. So, uh, and he's um, he's been in fine form. A bit short. He may play 20 minutes for Saracens this weekend. So uh, he went back to to his club with that in mind that he'd have a controlled 20, 25 minutes to get a, get himself back into the game, and then he'll come back to us next week. And and he he I mean he's he's a class player. He plays about all the positions in the back line. So. Um, whether he starts or, or, or is on the bench, it's, it's a good option for us if he's, if he's available. If, if, you look, if you look at the team, the fact that France last season won one of the best performances in modern times in, in the Six Nations for Scotland, front row, front row Dickinson, Ford and Nell, back row included Barkley and Hardy. That's a big turnover in just, in just a year on what was an outstanding performance. Yeah, it was. And, and that's, it's great to see players coming in and pushing. Hards is, is short on... Uh, um, it's probably too early for him to get him out in the, in the paddock. He'll hopefully turn out for uh, Edinburgh this weekend, give him some game time. Um, we've got, uh, I think, Josh since November has really kicked on. Um, so the, the, it's great to have those those choices, and uh, well, I think we'll need everybody for this competition. Bill, Bill, the last time you've played at the end of this campaign, you've got 
retire, what difference do you think having cost up is going to, is going to get some chances this year? Oh, both teams are fresh. I mean, obviously, at the end of a competition, the, the team with with the most depth usually comes through. Uh, they can support injuries uh, far easily, far more easily. Um, at the start of the game, I think it'll be probably nervous. Uh, probably a nervous start to the match as teams settle in. And um, <clears throat> but the energy will be there. Energy levels will be up. I think it'll be a physical game. If it's not. If not, just a um, you know there may be a few errors being first hit out. Generally, that's what happens. But I think um, we'll certainly have freshness, uh, fresh legs out there. And and I think um, what we don't have, and perhaps organisation and game time together, we'll have with you know with that energy and freshness. The team is obviously a slow start to this competition. What do you think you've done this year to change that back? It's just been, when we went to autumn we said this was a, an eight match series so it was just trying to improve. We looked at the autumn and, and we looked at the last game we played against Georgia and the things there that we didn't we didn't think were particularly good that we needed to improve on and whether it's a support to ball carrier, whether it's our structure and maintaining shape to keep, um, you know, keep the defence second guessing, uh, whether it's our choices in the game. So it's just been really continually trying that drive to improve and, and that's the only thing you can just keep doing that. You, I mean the decision has been made to, you know, the, guy, the guys have a vision for the, for the Six Nations, there's no two ways about it and, and that whatever vision you have determines your, your behaviour so uh, these guys are, are working hard to try and um, get uh, and achieve and become better so and that's the only way you can, you can approach it. Now we'll get through this game, there are no guarantees in sport as we know but there, there, there's a there's that desire that we've seen for the last few seasons, you know, is, is there, and um, and it's you know, it's it's an it's an exciting start. Ireland at home. Ireland have just recently beaten the All Blacks, and they've beaten Australia and South Africa. So they're, they're not just one-off games that these guys are winning. They consistently have a very good team. So we get the chance to measure ourselves against them, and then we go to a different opposition the week after. But this one is, um, you know, I, I I can feel a nervousness within the group. Um, they know it's a, it's, a, it's a big game and uh, they're ready to roll their sleeves up and have a go at it. I know you're all talking about your own situation in terms of being in your last campaign, but do you think the guys can do what you've sort of put the, the emotions of that? Say one side and just focus on, on the rugby? Oh, the, the rugby's the, yeah, everything's structured around uh, the game and trying to do well in it, so, uh, and then the next game. So the and we've worked through that as well, the head and heart stuff that, you know, creates performances. You can't just have uh, heart and no head or, or the opposite. So it's having a fine balance of being smart, preparing well uh, and knowing why you get up in the morning to do things, you know, those are sort of things that, you know, the boys are, you know, they're, they're looking forward to getting started. Well, they move you around. I mean, it's, they play a great game of chess. If you look at it that way, they uh, very powerful up front, hold the ball well, good kicking game, good kick chase, put pressure on, try and turn you over in wide channels. They then try and get you to, to exit poorly, uh, and then go to a line out. And, um, I think you know most of their, their, their tries come from set phase, or especially from line out. So um, that's their comfort. That's what they want. And the idea is not to give them what they want. I mean, they're a good team, so they try and box in as best as possible. And it's up to us to, to be able to function under that. You know, it's going to be there's a bit of stress out there. Be able to function and, and put our game into place. So really, had a good look at them early in the week, looking at ourselves later in the week, and just try and you know we've, we want to put something in place. And um, you know, it's, that'll be key to it. Look, I, I think the trap is every year that um, you know Scotland. Let's talk them up, and then and then if they don't go well, well, there's you know there's always we're realistic. We know where we are. We know that the teams are ranked ahead of us. We know that where the rugby hierarchy sits at the moment. It's up to us to try and push that hierarchy through preparing well and playing well, and that and that's that's the key to it. So. And as I've said always, we'll sit down and do honest reviews after each performance and decide you know, what areas we need to need to, to get better at. Uh, and the rest of it, like I said, it's an oval ball, it bounces in funny ways and there are no guarantees. We, we as I say, we, visions and objectives are two different things. So, I mean, it's, we want to get out there and put in good performances and see where that takes us. Speaking about that, almost, is that a, a positive thing? Is that 
Uh, I, I think you, you need to be, I mean, uh, uh, being a little bit nervous means that you're, uh, you're probably sharper and a little bit more on edge, and I think you need to be in the game. You need to be wary of the opposition. If you're going comfortably, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, you need to be very uh, wary. You need to do your homework against these guys, especially all, all teams at international level. But uh, we need to, um, yeah, we need to be sharp. We need to be, need to be able to adapt at any any given moment. We know they've got plays we haven't seen. They'll, they'll bring them out. How do we adapt to them? All those sorts of things. Could you, could you assess for the last four Ireland of, of Johnny Sexton? Can I? Can I? The last to Ireland of Johnny Sexton. What's what's that going to do to them? Yeah, I mean we can talk about that. We, um, Paddy Jackson, if he takes the field, is is obviously uh, a proven ten at international level. He played well in South Africa. Uh, he may have some, you know, he may not be thinking so fondly the last time he ran out an international game at Murrayfield, but uh, you know that's. Um, and they've got their issues, we've got ours. I mean, WP now, uh, Ali Dickinson, and we went to Ireland last year, we didn't have Johnny Gray or, or Finn Russell. So, I mean, that's just the way the game is. And uh, the Holy Grail is momentum, is that, is that fair to call it, to get in this match? Um, obviously, if you win your first game, it becomes, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a positive when you come in on Monday, isn't it? And then that, that generates the belief and, that you need. And, and this team, you know, if we get the win, that will generate belief and, and for either team, whichever team gets the winner and there are two other games being played as well so there's going to be three teams that come away with the win so, and three teams that will have to work on the one next week. Cheers.